Okay. What's this? You're not seeing things. I'm playing Tag Team Wrestling for the NES. Oh boy, this is going to be a wild ride, isn't it? Alright. So this is a very surreal, very buggy, nearly unplayable wrestling game. Perhaps the first one ever released. Though there very may well have been others. Though I don't know or care, so please do not comment about that. Alright, so I should probably give some exposition about this game. In this game, you play as the Ricky Fighters, I think. I'm not quite sure. I probably have the name wrong because it's been a while since I played this. And you're playing against a team called the Strong Bags. Yes, really. So you'd think that it plays just like any other wrestling game. Well, I should remind you that the NES had two buttons in addition to the start and select screen in the D-pad. So how do they go about having a wrestling game with dozens of moves? Simple. Okay, here's how it works. Alright, I'll demonstrate it after this epileptic fit ends. No, I'm not making this up. There really is a wrestling team called the Strong Bads in this game, and they do a funny little jig. Oh, this is a weird game. One of the worst for the NES, but also one of the most influential. Okay, I, I lied. This isn't one of the worst, but it's probably one of the most infamous. Alright, as you saw there, he was just in rage mode. When they're in rage mode, you can't hit them at all. Just proving that the computer cheats. And they go into rage mode like every five seconds that you haven't got a blow on them. So in order to attack them, you need to press the A button, I think. Yeah, it's the A button. To grapple them. Then you have three seconds to scroll through a menu by pressing the B button. as I just did there, to select a move and use it against your opponent. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty much just button mashing. You've heard of Winter Games? I bet you have. You're all nerd fans, I know it. Well, this is Winter Games, but with boxing. Or wrestling, as it may be. Alright, so, this game tells you to cheat as well. First of all, staying outside the ring heals you, oddly enough. So stay outside for 20 seconds and you'll get a ring out, which is an instant loss for you, but never a loss for the computer because their AI prevents them from getting a ring out. Or if, even if you do get a ring out, I don't know how well it works. So let's, in fact, let's try it. Nope, they immediately jump away before you can even hit them. Alright, so let's just keep slamming this bat strong bad, and I can't believe I'm still saying this. Alright, when you're outside the ring, you have very little choice. You pretty much just keep picking him up and throwing him to the ground for 20 seconds until you have to retreat. All the while, you're healing, oddly enough. Alright, so there are two types of moves in this game. There are moves that deal direct damage, and moves that cause your opponents to be held. When, when you hold an opponent, they can't move unless their teammate legally comes onto the stage to help them. But if you hold them for too long, they lose a lot of damage. If you hold them until their energy bar gives up, they give up as well. That's essentially the equivalent of pinning them. Alright, to pin someone, you pretty much just grapple them while they're on the ground. Wow, that sounded incredibly wrong. But so much of this game is wrong anyway. Alright, so the game loves transferring the rage bonus between the two fighters. So not only are they healed, but they are invincible. Okay, that was just unfair. 
Alright. Now, don't allow yourself to be pinned. You don't need to be at zero health to be pinned. You could just be at low enough health. And you can't get up with any reasonable amount of skill. Alright, luckily, your teammates heal while benched. It's pretty much luck whether or not you hit them or they hit you when you're about to grapple each other. Again, I can't believe I just said that. You pretty much have to wait for them to come to you, but you can't do that because if you wait too long, they'll go into rage mode and they'll become invincible. So you've got to try to approach them and fail miserably at it because you'll just get pile drive. Also, there's no TKO in this game. That's the only saving grace. Though I think that's only a boxing anyway, so... I don't know, you have to forgive me. I know very little about wrestling. Yeah, I'm just mashing buttons at this point. It's the only thing that seems to be consistent. Ah. Oh. That's right, dance, strong bad. Both of you. Alright, luckily there's a continue code if you're dumb enough to play story mode. Okay, hold up and press start when it says game over. Unfortunately, I haven't even beaten one level. I've beaten levels in the past, and trust me when I say that your dance is just as embarrassing as theirs. Oh, that was a pathetic attack. I just stepped on his toe. What kind of wrestler am I? Now you can play as the strong bads in this game, but only in two-player mode. They have a completely different move set, which is not all that different, except in names. Oh come on, he got super powered while on the ground. How's that fair? Alright, let's just continue beating up this wrestle man right here. And the judge gets mad. And, okay, that's not fair. He was on the ground again. How am I supposed to compete with that when he goes into rage mode when I can't even touch him? I can't even get close enough to him so he can use his rage mode. Alright, just gonna use kick. Alright, he's out. So now we just continue beating on him because he can do very little to stop us when we get into the right rhythm. There we go. Gotta keep beating him and quickly jump into the arena and prevent him from getting to his teammate to tag in. Oh, of course, he always tags in successfully. Ow, I got kicked in the face. Oh, well, I might as well stand out here to heal. Again, very counterintuitive. Ow, stop. Yeah, if you can't tell, this game cheats a lot. The computer does things that you can't possibly... Okay, what the heck was that? No, seriously, what was that? I haven't even seen that before. Okay, I've read the controls online just to make sure what happens. And yes, apparently there's a... Okay, I'm getting that chair. You cannot stop me, I'm getting that chair. If there's a chair involved, neither party can get inside the ring until the chair is used. I have absolutely no idea how much sense that makes, but I'm going to guess very little. And you can't be knocked out while out of the ring, which is nice, I guess, because then you get pile drive ridiculously in two-part mode. Again, that's a pathetic attack. Let's scroll through them next time. Oh, illegally come out onto the field to cheat. That's right, cheating helps, kids. Oh, he's using a signature move, I guess. Signature moves can only be used against rivals. The rival system makes no sense and don't try to understand it. There's apparently plot to this game, but I don't care. It doesn't make any sense anyway. Alright, can't let him pin me, can't let him pin me. I've got to beat this game at least once for the viewers at home. Alright, now he's out here. Let's just keep... Throwing him against the ground? Oh, no. I throw him against the ground. This isn't Soviet Russia. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, I just hope I don't get a timeout. 
because if you get a timeout in this game, you lose no matter what, even if you're ahead. Oh, come on, I didn't want to do that, I just wanted to pin him. Get back in here. No, I think not. Stop that. Arrgh. And now I'm not going to be able to get away because... Oh, what the heck. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, you're pathetic. Lost to the home stars again, or whatever they are. Oh, okay, let's give this one more go. It's not that this game's hard, it's just that there's no way of knowing if you can win or lose because there's no skill involved. They're just button mashing and praying. This, they should call this a religious game. Come on, rescue him. Keep breaking the rules. Apparently breaking the rules makes you weaker or something, since it lowers your stamina. Come on, I gotta get the chair before he does. Oh, come on, I can't even do that. Ow. I'm getting wiped by this guy. Ah. This, this is pathetic. I can't even touch him. I'm playing with the same strategy I've played with every time, and yet for some reason I can't even hurt him this time. There we go, we're getting back into the rhythm, and of course my own attacks hurt me. This is what happens when health and stamina are used interchangeably. I'm hurt just as much as he is. In fact, the only thing that makes it better is the fact that I can heal while outside the ring. Right, gotta pin him. Ah, there we go. We finally won. Congratulations, Riccio. You've won. And... Oh, that's the worst dance I've ever seen. Their hips disappear. Yes, there's a story mode to this, but every single match is the same. It's against the strong bads every single time. There are 35 fights until you get the championship. I kid you not. They expect you to fight these same idiots 35 times without losing, Unless you know the continue code. I swear I'm not making this up. The longest I've gone is two fights in a row without continues or losing. How are they expecting people to get 35? I mean, it's not like this is a game you get used to. I've been playing this game for hours now. Hours in a row. Just trying to get used to it. No, nothing allows you to get used to this. I figured that waiting at night and then trying again in the morning would help, but no. I worked on this yesterday, it didn't work. I worked on this today, it didn't work. There's absolutely no way to get used to these awful controls. Insane method of selecting your attacks, which I barely even touched upon, because I'm not even bothering at this point. And the only thing this game is useful for is introducing us to Strong Guy. May we never forget the legacy this game left. Even if it was an incredibly crappy one. Come on, let me quit. Oh, that's right, you can't quit. You just gotta wait for him to start holding you up in the air and allow your hit points to fade away. Come on, come on, finish this off. There we go. I gotta wait. Oh, look at those faces in the crowd, they're all insane. Look, some of them aren't even connected to bodies. the longest 10 seconds I've ever waited. <laughs> okay, this has been Let's Play Tag Team Wrestling for the NES. I think there's a reason that Nintendo 8 called this game 404.